Well, good morning or good afternoon or whatever the time of the day it is that you're tuning in to Intentional Thursday. I'm your boy, D. Ralph. Today's scripture text is found in Psalms, the 103rd chapter and the first verse. Again, Psalms 103 and the first verse. The King James Version said, the New King James Version says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. And the Amplified, bless and affectionately praise the Lord, O my soul, and all that is deep within me, bless his holy name. The International Children's Bible says, All that I am, Praise the Lord. Everything in me, praise his holy name. The NLT says, Let all that I am praise the Lord. With all my with my whole heart, I will praise his holy name. The CEB, the Common English Bible. Or the contemporary English Bible says, Let my whole being bless the Lord. Let everything inside me bless his holy name. And the God the word translation. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise his holy name, all that's within me. So far, the scriptures. Today's devotion is about all that's within me. All that's within me. Kind Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the entrance of thy word, which bringeth life and light. We pray that the gospel of Jesus Christ shine bright as always. May the people be blessed by thee and never impressed by me. May the anointing of the preacher, teacher be upon me. Now open our ears, God, that we may hear, comprehend, and apply thy word. And we'll give you praise for all things accomplished through and by your word. And let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my God, my strength and my redeemer. And every glad heart said, Amen. Well, this morning, let's dig into this lesson. All that's within me. The backdrop of Psalms 103 is David's desire to praise God for his many benefits and to call on others to do the same. The circumstances in David, which David wrote in Psalms 103 are unclear. But some believe it may have been written later in his life. The psalm is considered a response to difficulty and pain and a choice to focus on God and give him praise. Mm. David's praise in the first two verses of 103, David calls on himself to praise the Lord with all that he has done, for all that he has done. He wants to offer a sacrifice of praise to God. God's benefits. David credits God with forgiving sins and healing diseases. He also mentioned God's steadfast love and mercy and that he satisfies his people with good. The universal call. David ends the psalm with a call for all believers to praise the Lord. Well, my fellow Christians, what if today you came before the Lord for no other apparent reason than to bless his name? than to bless him, than to bless the creator. Too often we make our prayers about ourselves. We come into his holy presence to receive and never come with the intention to just bless God for who he is. While it isn't wrong to ask him for what we need, the greatest honor is to give. We at some point must set aside our personal agendas. The give me, give me, give me. And simply love and bless him for who he is. To lavish him 
with words of praise, thanksgiving, and dedication that overflow from a grateful heart with all that's within me. It is, isn't it remarkable that God, the creator of heaven and the earth, is blessed by our fragile, sometimes flawed love. Yet he is this magnificent being, the Holy One of Israel, who continuously pours out incredible provision for spirit, soul, and body. God is worthy of our wholehearted allegiance. I will submit to you today that your life becomes more enjoyable when you are not preoccupied with your own agendas. So how can you make today all about the Lord? Glad you ask. With no list of requests, consider how bless, how to bless him with your intentions, intention, attention, and affection. Seeking nothing for yourself, but rather intentionally blessing God with all that's within me. You see, my beloved sisters and brothers, God is blessed when you, when your only delight is to please him and give him the glory. Though your aim is to honor God, you can be assured that he will respond with far more than you are able to give. What a joy it is to bless the Lord with all that's within me. If you will, in the recesses of your mind, reflect what would it look like to intentionally invest a day focused only on blessing the Lord, only on blessing God, only on blessing the Creator with my attitude, my actions, and all that is within me. Take the time to pray this simple prayer, Lord Jesus. I love you. It is my honor to worship you and pour out tears of gratitude. Be blessed by my worship. Let the posture of my heart and the thoughts I think bring you glory. And may my passion to bless you more than my desire to be blessed become the motive behind all I do. If you will declare this declaration, I am a blessing to God. Come on, repeat it after me. Say, I am a blessing to God. In your life's application, ask the Holy Spirit to show you something you can do today, big or small, large or little, to bless God. Then do so. Well, in the conclusion of the devotion, it is this. While blessing the Lord with all our being seems rather simple to understand, I think because of its, its simplicity, we take far too much for granted at times. You can find that in James 4 and 15. We need to be careful to continuously examine our entire being, our motives, our thoughts, and be thankful to God for each and every aspect of our lives. The good things, the bad things, the hard things, the scary things, the things we don't like about ourselves. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18, Psalms 34 and 1, Ephesians 5 and 20. I think only then can we begin to comprehend and experience what it means to bless the Lord with all that is within us and more fully bless his name. Beloved, the Bible emphatically declares that all that's within me, all of my powers and faculties, all that I can employ in 
his praise. The heart, the will, the affection, the emotions. The idea is that God is worthy of all praise and adoration, which the entire humanity of man can render unto God. No one or nothing created by the counsel of God's own will is exempted from the duty and the privilege of praising God. Today, my beloved brothers and sisters, take the time, intentionally take the time to just bless God today in your walk with Christ, in your daily living, in your thoughts, in your actions, in your deeds. Bless God with all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Well, thank you for tuning in to Intentional Thursday. I'm your boy, D. Ralph. Grace and peace, kingdom blessings from all that's within me. Bless his holy name.